In this video, I'll show you how I sanitize and clean uh, some of the equipment I use. Uh, today I'll be using a Cooper's fermenter kit, but some days uh, you can use this process for other equipment that you use in brewing as well. I'll be using this for a batch of beer later. Um, when you buy these Cooper kits, um, I think it says when they first come out that you don't need to clean them or sanitize them. Uh, in this case, this has been used a lot and it's pretty dirty, so I'll show you how I clean it and sanitize it. So, so what I use and a bunch of people use to, to clean your brewing stuff, especially after there's been fermentation or uh, brewing in it, is the OxyClean. Um, so basically this will, this will clean the container and then I'll use the sanitizer. Uh, I use StarSan, which is a, a non-rinse sanitizer, uh, to sanitize it after you clean it. So for this OxyClean, you basically use one scoop per gallon or four liters. Then we'll just use the, the markings on the container, which is in liters, or the four liter uh, line of water. That's about four liters of Daddy, watch of water. Out. That's, uh... Be careful next time. Okay, okay. So that's about uh, four liters of water. I just usually mix it with a hand or a cloth. Sure, you clean the lid as well. So, what are we going to do next? So, now we're going to clean this spigot down here. And if you use the four liters, uh, it won't leak out when you open it up. So, you can take apart the spigot. I can just rinse it off. Daddy, is this an old towel or a new towel? It's an old towel. Oh. Did you get wet? No, I will. It's okay. Sorry. I knew you were gonna dump it. And did you? Now we can just rinse it clean. Cause we don't want our beer to get all bubbly. That's right. All soapy, right? Yeah. So once it's, it's clean, put the spigots back together. Put this back in. Yeah, so we're gonna spill it out. Yep. So no water, like, so no be able to like, like fall out. That's right. And we'll that was loud. <laughs> Scared me. Did it? Yeah. So then we'll put sanitizer in. So 
You can do one ounce sanitizer in it to make five gallons uh, of solution. And also be careful not to put too much in. Yeah, and then we'll put, since in this case I don't need to, we don't need to use that much. I'll just use a, a half ounce and two and a half gallons or about nine liters on, on the container. So I don't, I don't get too precise. Star Sand comes in different types of containers. Um, some have measurements built in. This one's just a, a smaller one. And then before I do that, I'll put the water in since uh, I don't want it to bubble up too much. Yep, you're right. So that's roughly at the, the nine liter mark. Like a half an ounce, roughly, of stir sand. Can I pour it in again? Yes, you can. There you go. Yeah. So mix it gently. With your hand. Why? You can use your hand. Maybe uh, I'll do it just because it, it's a sanitizer. Make sure it's all sanitized. So what are we going to do after this? Well, after this, we'll, we'll make sure the spigot is sanitized and we'll sanitize the lid. Mm-hmm. Oh. You spilled them on the floor again. Okay. There we go. Clean it up. So just to, so we get the spigot, let's put it over the sink and just open it up a little bit. Yeah. Let's sanitizer. Let's slip. Let's slip. Let's slip. Because it'll be too much. Yeah, and then we'll use some sanitizer solution to sanitize the lid. Clean the lid. And then later on we're going to be making beer, right daddy? That's right. You like helping? Yeah. So when, when, once you're done sanitizing, uh, it's a waste just to dump it out. Um, I think you can keep it around for, for a couple months. Uh, there's videos online about or checking the acidity. Or if you want for like five days. Yeah. Uh, you can check the acidity uh, and pH levels. Uh, I don't know too much about that. But I'll keep this till the bottle. So I just grabbed another container that's kind of clean. And I'll just dump the sanitizer into this. I'm going back to my stool. Now the fermenter is clean and sanitized and ready to like, to make a beer in it, right? Yeah. All right. Good job. Thanks for the help. Thanks. Say goodbye. See you next time. And this is a no rinse sanitizer, so you don't have to rinse this. So you can just go ahead and put uh, put your your beer right into it. And if there's any bubbles in there with the sanitizer bubbles, it doesn't matter, so you don't have to worry about it. All right. Bye. Until next time. See you next time.